And I know the pain will fade one day But I just need to say I swear, bro, just let me build one more lane. I swear we're gonna fix traffic. Just build, let's build one more lane. Just let me build one more lane. Just let me build one more lane. I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear we're gonna fix traffic. Just, just one more lane and just make it bigger. Just make it bigger, we're gonna fix traffic. It's good. <laughs> As a newcomer, I couldn't figure out why some streets in Oakland were so desolate. Adeline Street, with its four lanes for cars, has little traffic on it any time of day. The more I look, the more I find evidence of the key system on Oakland streets. I found out that Adeline Street used to be a very busy streetcar line. It had six tracks of streetcars before the highways were built. Once the highways came, Adeline streetcars width became obsolete. As I read about the East Bay streetcars, their essence becomes solidified in the imagination. The electric train system was in place in Oakland long before automobiles were popular. In fact, the streetcars helped build Oakland as a city, a city distinguished from San Francisco. public transit is far from ideal. I feel nostalgic for this unified train system. I imagine myself on the trains, the sounds of them, the places they might have gone. What happened to them? Why did they disappear?
I hear it when I Did you know there's a pedestrian walkway under the Bay Bridge Toll Plaza? There it is. Uh, pretty subtle and not very welcoming, but... Here's the part under the eastbound path. A little bit spooky, very echoey. And now we're at the uh, toll... So, update. Just like that, Caltrans has uh, closed the walkway. And they've put up a gate. So, got my five seconds to be viral. And we've made the world a slightly worse, less accessible place. Okay, King. All right, all right. I want you to notice a couple things, y'all. Notice how far that light and signal is down there and the pedestrians who are navigating it. I want you to notice how far that light signal is down there. I want you to notice all the housing, the apartments, public housing, Volunteers of America housing. I want you to notice the housing on the other side and this street, which we have ramps that actually kind of communicate that it's all right to cross. There's a break here. Y you should be fine. Dart, do whatever you need to do. And in this diagonal ramp, a wheelchair-powered stroller gets pushed right right into the speed of traffic. But what you're saying is that pedestrians should really just be walking or rolling all the way down there to safely cross if they're trying to get here or go all the way. But this depression or street dimple is where Jim Bakker will install one of his Vermin of New York mosaics. Jim, who's based in Chicago, came to New York and intolerable or displaced, taking the time to readjust each one when necessary. This part takes a while. It's Italian glass and colored. Every time, every time A sidewalk or a curb itself as being famous but Hayward California used to be home to one of the most famous curbs at least in the eyes of geologists this curb may just look like it's oddly misaligned or poorly built but it's actually a direct result and record of Earth's moving tectonic plates <laughs> 